one of the happiest holidays of the year is fast approaching Independence Day. It's the perfect melding of easy breezy summer fun and of course summer foods. And joining us this morning to help put a little sparkle in your 4th of July blast is America's chief entertaining officer, Tim Laird, author of Bats Entertaining Cookbooks. Tim, welcome. Oh, hello, Rena. I'll tell you what, I'm excited. I love the 4th of July and of course incorporating all the colors of mm. red, white and blue into uh, not only your drinks but also your food. And here's where I want to start. This is red, white and blue sparklers. Oh. They're adult sparklers, but okay. they're a lot of fun. Basically for my red, I take a little bit of uh, strawberry puree, top that with Corbel champagne, that gives it the sparkle. For the white, I use a little bit of pina colada mix, top that with the Corbel champagne, it's just delicious. A little coconut and you oh, get the sparkle of lovely. the uh, champagne. And then for the blue, this is a little bit of Corbel, and I'm gonna put in a, just a little bit of blue curacao, which is an orange liqueur, so it kinda has a little orange taste to it. Okay. And then we always have an alcohol-free version. I always be a responsible host. And then, love keeping it. with the theme, we mm -hmm. have firecracker shrimp, and oh. I love these. Very easy. Just take uh, some uh, shrimp mm -hmm. uh, that's been deveined, take the uh, shell off, and then cook it in a little hot sauce. You know, whatever your favorite hot sauce is, three to four minutes until okay. they're done. And then what I like to do, I'll take a rosemary spear, ah, use that as the handle, oh. and it kind of gives that firecracker fuse type look. Got it. And then again, the double whack firecracker, you want a little boom to it, so I put a little bit of sriracha wow. on that. You can leave that out and your guests can simply grab those and that go and have fantastic. some fun. That looks fantastic. Moving on, yep. keeping up with the theme, these are my red, white, and blue burgers. Very Beautiful. easy to make. You can actually make these patties. We have the recipe on your Facebook page. Great. But if you want to uh, cheat, which I like to do a lot of yes. times, you and I were talking about we that. We were talking about how do we cut corners to make this easy. You can get these already done. And then I just uh, garnish it with a little blue cheese. That mm -hmm. makes the white and the blue and a little red tomato. And if you're vegetarian, could you do a vegetarian Right, patty? absolutely. Yeah. Use a vegetarian uh, burger. Absolutely. And okay. then I put the flags on there to donate the ones that have the cheese. And then I have ah. others that don't have it so oh, that's right. where your guests will know going on with hamburgers uh, you gotta have french fries uh, of so, course, french and, fries. and then of course with the uh, red white and blue I've got mm. ketchup mayonnaise and then for blue this is just Dijon mustard with a little bit of uh, uh, blue food coloring ah, that's how you get the blue oh and you okay. can put that on and there it is kind of a nice red and blue Gorgeous. white and blue there it is and then finally a parfait that's uh, made beautiful. with raspberries, a little whipped cream, and blueberries. And then I've topped these with a little bit of Pop Rocks. Remember those little Pop yeah, Rocks that explode? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. all of a sudden you can have uh, almost a fireworks display in your mouth as you're eating these things and they're <laughs> popping and it's great. That's and, a great experience. And it actually works. Uh, it, it, it really is a nice experience. Kids it's would like, love that too. They do. They yeah. would. And speaking of your kids, if you want to get them involved, they yeah. can make these uh, uh, patriotic uh, treats, I call them. But rice basically Krispie. Rice Krispie treats, uh -huh. uh, red and then the regular and then blue. So you just make the uh, mix of marshmallows uh -huh. and butter uh -huh. and then have one bowl with the red food dial, uh, color, yeah. one with the blue, mix that up and then put them in layers. And so this is really easy, quick, you cut a couple corners, but it still feels fresh and homemade. And it is, and it's perfect. And like I said, I, I love tying in with all the themes of uh, yeah. of the event, and, and certainly this speaks to Brilliant. the Fourth of July. We love it, Tim. <laughs> Tim Laird, America's Chief Entertaining Officer. Thank you so much. Happy Fourth to you. Thank you, Rena. And for all the recipes, check out WNNFans.com. Stay with us. So good.